Captain's log, stardate 9172.17. We are beginning the assembly of the Raven. Alright, what is up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? We're going to put together this little uh, Raven system I purchased. We're going to start off first by putting the power supply in. I've already taken the side panel off. I gotta take the mount out over here and we'll get it in. Then after that we'll follow with the uh, motherboard. Alright, so we've got the power supply and the three and a half inch hard drive installed. I went ahead popped on the IO shield. Uh, during the process I ran the front header cables and everything, the USB audio and stuff for the switches and LEDs back behind this. I chose to install the uh, power supply and everything first because I knew this was going to be the most pain in the butt to get back in. Uh, and it was. It wouldn't be too difficult without the three and a half on it. So with the three and a half, it was a pain in the butt and I didn't want to go ahead and have the motherboard and stuff sitting in there trying to jam this thing in and end up breaking something so I put it back in first here next we're gonna pop in the motherboard after I install the uh, the uh, rear plate onto it for my cooler so we'll see you back here in a minute here we are now I have the uh, motherboard here installed I got the front USB hooked up front panel audio, the uh, power reset, all that stuff, got my USB cable, or my SATA cables here hooked in already. If you're wondering what this awkward red one is, this is the adapter for the Panasonic slim slot loading drive I got for the RBZ01 here, the uh, placement button placement doesn't really matter any because uh, there's no eject set up for it on the case your ejecting would be done through the Explorer menu or whatnot through whatever operating system that you choose but next we're gonna start hooking up the cables here to the power supply and putting in the 24 4 pin stuff like that here for the motherboard get the video card put in hard drives and all that stuff so we'll be back here once we get that put in all right as you can see here now we have the uh, modular cables and everything hooked up to the power supply I've gone ahead and as you know installed the uh, slimline slot loading optical drive we got the video card here mounted in we're gonna go ahead and put this down here I've already worked some with pre-bending this cable here so it fits down now this is gonna be a pretty tight fit here um, this power supply here the uh, 450 watt modular from Silverstone, the SFX. It has an optional set of flat modular replacement cables that you can purchase. That way you don't have all this thick clutter, but I did not do that. As I already spent 89 on the power supply, I was not going to spend, excuse me, $30 on a set of cables in my opinion that they should have included with this power supply from the get-go uh, with the market for this power supply being Silverstone's miniature mini series and miniature series cases but that's another story so here we go we're going to try and get this mounted here you see I got my uh, Western Digital Black 500 there I got my uh, 240 gigabyte crucial uh, M500 solid state drive this here 
even though I've been working on bending those cables there, they're still a little bit finicky. You gotta feed this in down first because of having the slot loading drive there. Still a little tight there on the cables. They're not wanting to push over too well. Kind of keeping it held up some. Let's see here. Ah, give me the damn thing there. Thank you very much. Go ahead and force spin those there a little bit more and make sure they're still plugged in good. Yeah, now we should have it. Feed the rear here in. There we go. The cables down there. Still kind of push it up over. So now we're going to firmly, but not too hard. Push down right there on the riser card, get it to seat in. Now we got all this here in. I'm gonna take the flashlight, make sure that that hasn't pushed down on any of the fans, in which it hasn't. We're gonna go ahead and put a couple screws in here real quick to kind of hold this in place. do about two in it right now until I get finished up just in case if I have to take it back out for some reason maybe to route a cable somehow or another all right you know as I stated earlier I got my CPU bracket and stuff already set on there but the uh, one thing uh, Silver, Silver Stone told me is that the uh, the uh, H60 water cooler would work on this. I'm still trying to figure out mentally how I'm going to get it to go because the H60 looks like it's going to be a really tight fit. Um, here we go. I'm going to pop it out here and just show it to you for a minute. I mean, if you can you can imagine I'll be mounting the radiator to the uh, the side panel case but trying to figure out how on God's green earth gonna get this to work without kinking up the cables I don't know one thing to give a little extra room I may actually switch this fan here with one of that with one of the case fans since they're about half the thickness though so, you know I'll lose the uh, four pin if I do that and be stuck at three pin but I'll have a lot more room to work with so we'll see how it turns out and uh, another thing uh, I put this uh, one terabyte three and a half inch Western Digital Black in here um, the SATA cable that this thing comes with is not long enough to get this the uh, SSD and the two and a half inch black so I had to go in my stash and grab one of these which for me that just definitely ain't gonna cut it I hate it that I have to do that so what I'm probably gonna end up having to do is get uh, the HG ST travel star the one terabyte 7200 rpm two and a half inch drive and mount it here on this uh, two and a half inch mounting tray that's right here on the side and I'll just take this out and maybe throw in it throw it in a external enclosure or something like that but we're gonna go ahead and get the hard drives hooked up try and route the uh, cables the best we can pop the water cooler in there and we'll be back here in a few all right what is up I wanted to just uh, sort of shows something here um, basically I don't
don't do. Um, before I went through designing this, came up with the parts and stuff I was going to get for it, I called Silverstone and asked them of a few water coolers and one of their support people told me, you know, the Corsair 860 and a couple other models. So that's what I have here. It's the uh, Corsair H60. And I don't know how well you can see down here into the case. Um, but I mean, even if I were to try to bend these down and twist tie, at least with the default cables here and a three and a half inch hard drive out. If I had the three and a half inch hard drive out, something different, which I do plan on doing down the road. You know, I could have this kind of laying across up there and a few other cables. But, uh, yeah. There really is no fucking way to get this goddamn thing in there. Sorry for my language. I'm just really frustrated. And I did not mean to use the Lord's name in vain. But, fuck! Ah. So what I'll probably do is just go with the uh, default CPU cooler for right now and uh, may actually order a DIY kit and if I don't do that then what I'll do is, uh, is uh, buy a uh, better air cooler that I know will fit in. I mean, I think I could get this thing pushed in like this, here, eventually, get it setting in, but not with being able to have the fan in here also, because the hoses kink too bad, but, I mean, maybe something like, you know, blah, and then have the fan on the outside of the case running through, but, uh, I don't really think I'll do that. So, I think I'm just going to go with the, the default cooler for now. Yeah, if you get the uh, RBZ-01, do not get the Corsair H60 uh, water cooler. There really just isn't no room for it. But we'll figure something out here and we'll be back here in a few after we get uh, everything installed and show it off all right here now as you can see we got it all put together we got to uh, remove the water cooler put in the stock there until I can uh, uh, decide on a probably go with some form of air cooled but decide on a cooler that will fit well unless this holds up temperatures decently but I doubt it will um, we got our little uh, Panasonic slimline slot loading optical drive. We got the one terabyte Western Digital Black, uh, three and a half inch. We got our crucial M500 240 gigabyte solid state drive. Our Western Digital Black uh, 500 gigabyte two and a half inch drive. Got our memory down in there. Um, I am going to be replacing this. I think having a three and a half inch in this case is just way too bulky. So I'm going to get the uh, HGST Travel Star, the uh, 7200 RPM, uh, one terabyte, two and a half inch laptop drive, and replace this. Um, I didn't want to get them just because of the money for the power supplies it was, but here with the standard cables, modular cables that come with this, it's kind of bulky. Uh, when I first got this, the flat cable uh, expansion set that you can buy the replacement cables were 30 bucks. They're cheaper than that now. They're like 23 so I'm going to grab those. I will be replacing these. So I'll do a little 
update video showing how much space maybe they save and then with the replacing this with the uh, two and a half inch HGST travel star we'll see how it goes from there but here the final product the RVZ01 Raven case with all the components in it remember to rate comment and subscribe y'all have a good one we'll see you next time